First of all, go ahead and introduce yourself. I am Kevin. We are from West Hollywood. And uh, this is the booth of 101 Exhibit, and we're talking about something that has, well, some relevance to the booth here. Behind you is Chris and Sheely, but we're talking about Robert Rauschenberg. And uh, I'm sharing a story to continue to share on video. So the story is that I was uh, running, running some errands. The idea was that... I think you're playing, not recording. Look at this device. So the, the, the idea was that uh, I go to Christo and Jean-Claude's house. Now this is like out of the clear blue sky, this is the, this is the job for the day. And I'm 24 years old. Christo and Jean-Claude are going to have the Gates um, installation in February in Central Park. So go over to their house, grab a couple pieces. Bob wants to hang them in the studio on Lafayette Street. So I'm over there. We're spending some time, Christo and Jean-Claude are kind of chewing my ear off. I'm a 24-year-old, again, just kind of there, um, constantly eating mints <laughs> to cancel out the uh, secondhand smoke in their home because it was very intense. And what, what year? I think 2004. Okay. Whatever year the Gates was, this was a month before the Gates. So this was like January, the Gates were in February. So I think 2004. So I'm there, I'm just like shoveling mints. Jean-Claude is just smoking cigarettes. It's like really intense. The place smells like garlic and cigarettes. I take the pieces outside, load them into the van. I come back inside. She's like, well, what are you going to do? What, what's happening for the rest of the day? I said, well, I'm going to go with Bob to Chanterelle. And she goes, can I just say something to you about knowing and being able to be around Rauschenberg. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, yeah, of course. Because there is this, there is this like um, sense of me being a young person who's not very vetted yet to be in this pocket of influence. And she said, when you, when, you, when you look at, you know, his historical track record and him kind of jockeying in position inadvertently with Jasper Johns, it's like, I never understood that because Jasper Johns is really just a painter. Robert Rauschenberg is the truest sense of an artist that you'll ever meet. And I just, that's when I started to put even more emphasis and um, respect for the word artist. You know, because if you consider Rauschenberg an artist, well, then that means many are, are actually not. Yeah. He's kind of a hero in a lot of ways, too. I mean, he's just, he was just so... Oh, yeah. I mean, everything like, about him was art. That's it. Full blown. You know, and it's like, it, there's that cliche, you know, art is life. No, it's really true. This guy would say shit like, okay, why make a painting? The planet's the best painting there is. And then you can't argue with that because... Because it's true. Because it's true. You also can't argue with the guy. I mean, because the wit, being informed. And that was the funniest thing, too. It was like his art history wasn't great. He kind of just pimped art history out for his own accord. <laughs> it's like, ugh. We, we just have yeah. in artist. Re Renaissance imagery. Let's just cut it up, rehash it, slap it down, and throw some paint over it, and, <laughs> and use it for what we need it to be. Because, like, yeah, yeah. what they needed to be is completely different from what we need it to be. Yeah. You know? That makes sense, actually. Yeah. 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 Full on badass, yeah. All right. <laughs>